Lesson 8 To Receive Jesus Worthily A few days after the resurrection of Jesus, two of the disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. While they were talking about and discussing the events that occurred in Jerusalem during those days, Jesus came close to them and journeyed with them. But they did not recognize Jesus. They were gloomy. Jesus asked them what they were talking about. They answered that they were talking about the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth. Then Jesus interpreted to them, quoting the scriptures that Christ had to suffer all these and thus enter into his glory. The book of Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35. When they reached Emmaus, the disciples compelled him to stay with them, and he did so. While they were at supper, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened. They recognized him. He deepened their faith by interpreting the Holy Scriptures before he blessed, broke, and gave the bread. Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist on the Paschal Feast Day. In the Holy Eucharist, Jesus gives his own body and blood as the food for our souls. We must have due devotion to receive the body and blood of Jesus that gives us forgiveness of sin and divine life. We need holiness to receive the body and blood of Jesus. Hence, we have to examine ourselves whether we are in a state of grace, we should not receive Holy Communion with mortal sin. We have to get forgiveness of sin through the sacrament of reconciliation and receive Jesus with a pure heart. Whoever, therefore, eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 27 to 28. When we receive this sacrament of love, we must remember we have to live in love and communion with the God and our fellow beings. The peace wishing in the Holy Mass reminds us of this. In the Holy Mass, the service of reconciliation just before receiving Holy Communion helps us to examine our conscience. In that service, we get reconciled with God and our brethren and receive forgiveness of sin. The fasting before receiving Holy Communion will greatly strengthen our preparation. We need preparation and devotion to receive Holy Communion. Let us lovingly receive Jesus who comes to us. Preparations necessary for receiving Holy Communion First one Be in the state of grace Second Fast at least one hour before receiving the Holy Communion Third Have proper preparation and devotion Whoever receives the body and blood of Jesus becomes participants of His divine life the Holy Eucharist is a banquet of mutual love and service. Those who eat of the same bread should live in communion. We must show mutual love and friendship. Thus, all of us have to become one in Jesus. Let us eat and satisfy ourselves from the altar of the God. May the Holy Mass strengthen us to be faithful children of the Church. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, who gave us your holy body and blood for forgiveness of sin and to impart divine life, give us the grace to receive you into our hearts with sufficient preparation. A word of God to remember. Examine yourselves and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 28. Let us read the Word of God with devotion. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 30. My decision, 
I will receive the body and blood of Jesus with due devotion. Let us do. Pick from the word bag suitable words necessary to receive Jesus with devotion. Riches, holiness, faith, devotion, preparation, position, grace, health, love, fasting, examination of conscience.